guys, welcome to Break Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie, today we're going to walk around video of this 2016 MY17 Ford Mondeo Ambient. Starting out the front, as you can see, you do have that nice, real staggered grille at the front of the car. Gives it a real um, aggressive look that the Mondeos are known for. You can also see that you do have fr front color coded parking sensors on the front of the vehicle, and then you've got your fog lights down the bottom. Front of the, car, the, front of the car, sorry, presents in really good uh, condition. No major stone chips or anything that are worth pointing out. Uh, we'll work our way around to the driver's side of the vehicle now, where we'll stop at our first wheel. As you can see, this wheel really good condition. Um, there's no major marks or anything at all that are worth pointing out, except for a bit of dust that obviously will be cleaned. Uh, and you've got pretty much brand new tyres on the front of the vehicle as well. Coming down, you can see that we also have colour-coded exterior mirrors with door handles. Uh, sorry, colour-coded exterior mirrors and door handles. And you also have the indicator integrated into the side mirror as well. You can just see the paintwork throughout the vehicle, really good condition, being white as well. Um, I, will be tr I will try to be as picky as we can um, to see the marks, because being white you wouldn't be able to really see them, but as you can see, really good condition. You can also see that the back windows, how dark they are. Uh, so really dark tint on the back of the window, really good so nobody can look in the back of the car. Stopping at our second wheel now, as you can see again, really good condition on this wheel again. Um, you can see there is a bit of uh, rushing on the wheel here, but for a 2016, nothing inconsistent for the age. Really good tyres on the back of the vehicle too. Speaking, speaking of the back of the vehicle now, we'll come to the back of the vehicle, where again you can see that you have colour-coded reverse parking sensors as well. Uh, this also does have factory reverse camera as well. And also you can see the high mount stop light and also your rear windscreen wiper. We'll open up the boot now and take a look in the back where as you can see you do have a cargo barrier in there as well um, and as you can see plenty of space throughout the vehicle too. Good having this here so you can adjust it at certain uh, lengths so if you do have shopping and you want to push it up the car and you don't want it to come back uh, you can use that for that as well. We'll close it up and look down the passenger side now. First thing you can see is the fuel filler cap is on the passenger side. It's as simple as pushing it and it'll open it. It is an easy fuel um, filler, so you don't actually need to put, you don't actually need to take off the nozzle or anything. It's as simple as just sticking the fuel gun into the hole and off you go. Coming to our third wheel now, where as you can see again, is a minor, minor rash on the wheel again, but other than that, it presents really well. Really good tyres on that wheel, of course, as well. Again, just look at the paintwork, as you can see. It's in really good condition. I did say I was going to be picky for you guys, so being, being really picky, there is this minor mark on the side mirror. Um, a bit of buffing, a bit, bit, of, bit of elbow grease would probably get that off. And stopping at our fourth and final wheel, as you can see, even this wheel where the one you park next to the curb, really good condition again, and obviously really good tyre. So as you can see guys, the exterior, the, condition, uh, the exterior condition of the car is in really good, in really good nick. You have four good tyres, four good wheels, and obviously the paintwork is in really good order. What we'll do now guys is we'll jump underneath the bonnet and take a look at the, take a look at the engine. Guys, take a look underneath the bonnet now. What we have here is a two litre four cylinder turbo diesel engine. This engine produces 132 kilowatts and also 400 newton meters of torque. You have a six speed sports automatic dual clutch transmission. So the shifts are lightning in this vehicle. As I said, 62 litre diesel capacity tank, which on average is gonna give you really good fuel economy. 5.3 litres every 100 k. So out of a fuel maximum distance, you're gonna get 1,265. Obviously that's gonna vary the way you drive. Just a quick note, this car also does come with nine airbags. That's the most I've actually ever seen on any car so far. So really good safety with this car as well. Guys, take a look inside the Mondeo now, as you can see on the driver's side door, all your power window controls. Also a button to lock the windows as well, which will also light up to let you know and then you got all your mirror controls as well just above here all your buttons to lock the door so easy as pressing it which will lock all the doors and the same thing with the unlock button and then right next to that you got all your headlight controls as well you also have the brightness to um, adjust the dimming inside the cluster and the main screen as well on the right hand side next to the headlights on your right hand stalk um, on your sorry on the right hand stalk are your indicators and also your high beams on the left-hand stalk, your windscreen washers and also your wipers. Uh, this being a dual clutch, you can see that you do have paddle shifts in this vehicle. Um, so because this car does shift very quick, as it is a dual clutch transmission, you can use the paddle shifts, which I will show you a bit um, down the video. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, all your volume controls and your media controls, and also all your Bluetooth controls as well. Your left-hand side, 
all your um, controls for the main screen in, in the middle of the cluster and also all your cruise control settings as well. Into the main screen now where as you can see um, this is Ford's latest sy um, sync system which works very well. As you can see all your audio controls there, climate controls you can control through the touch screen and the hard buttons below as well. All your phone controls, navigation, um, as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Really good reverse camera too, probably the best one on the market which you are able to zoom in right where the tow bar would be um, with, the, with the reverse camera as well. The lines do move as well when you move the steering wheel and then you also got the park assist as well. So a really good reverse system, reverse camera system, sorry. Um, it does have AM, FM radio, USB, AUX, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and uh, CD as well. Down below as you can see all your hard buttons for so the volume, to tune the station, to get the CD out, um, flick through the stations as well, and then all your hard buttons for your climate control. It is dual zone climate control, so changing the temperature um, for the passenger driver, as you'll see, passenger there, driver there. We'll leave that off as it is not cold enough or hot enough to have the AC or the heat on. Um, just underneath, as you can see, you've got a big storage compartment with a 12 volt socket. Um, I'll just quickly show you. Actually, it won't because my phone's in my pocket and I won't be able to get out, but you just put your phone here and you charge it there and obviously not touch it while you're driving and as I said before your automatic uh, gearbox that if you were to put in drive and you did want to use the paddle shifts it's as simple as putting it in drive and then just clicking one of the paddle shifts and that will actually let you change the gears manually down behind this you got your park assist buttons you, so you can turn the um, the reverse parking sensors off and then you also got your stop start button that you can turn off as well so when this car will come to complete stop it will turn itself off to save emissions um, but then just putting that off so when it lights up it won't actually do that you got your electric handbrake just as simple as pulling it up and the handbrake's on and then pushing it down to turn it off and then you've got two cup holders you've got this little step sort of thing to put the cup a bit higher so if it is a shorter cup to get it out make things a little easier and if we have a look inside the center console, as I just hit the camera person, um, you can see the little parcel shelf, good amount of storage in there, two USBs as well, and then you got the 12 volt socket again. I'll just get the camera person just to pan around the interior, show you the condition of the vehicle. Really low case with this vehicle too, so being a 2016 complied 17, only 25,000 uh, kilometers done on the car, which we have carried out, which, sorry, which ha services, both services have been carried out, the 15 and the 25 as well. What we'll do now guys is we will jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video. Alright guys, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the video on the 2016 My 17 Ford Mondeo. As you can see, with the exterior and the interior condition, you wouldn't think this car would last very long, so please give us a call, 9907055. Just before I go, this car will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. That's going to give you an additional five years, up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electrical protection. Uh, it is an additional cost, which if you are using our in-house finance, we'll only adjust your payments by a couple dollars a week. So again, please give us a call, 9907055. Book a test drive on this car today.